Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm just briefly going to be talking a little bit about levels. And uh, I have a level to show you that I did a little bit of a repair on. Um, basically, in my township, what they have is uh, a, a recycling center. So you can bring your trash there, and they recycle aluminum cans and plastic, and they sell it off to companies that take like the uh, plastic bottles and they'll make like polyester shirts out of them and and that stuff and uh, they have a metal recycling there and uh, in the bin I noticed this uh, level in there it's uh, actually it's a empire and I happen to have an empire level of my own and I have a small two foot one that I use for a lot of jobs and I really like it because it has uh, you know the pretty pretty large size vials that are easy to see and it's also magnetic which is uh, really handy uh, particularly if you're working with steel studs which uh, sometimes we do when we do uh, basement remodels so anyhow this was being recycled just for the aluminum and as you can see it has one vial here and you can see that this vial and this vial um, I replaced myself so it, it was basically missing two of the vials and what I did is I drew these up using computer-aided drafting in AutoCAD and uh, I cut them out of eighth inch acrylic and there's two pieces of eighth inch on each side and just a bolt going through holding it and it's it's really nice working with the CAD software because you can draw it exactly the way you want it and the inner piece is actually notched out to hold that vial um, these vials you can get off of Amazon and uh, they're fairly cheap. They're only a couple bucks. I think I think it was like four dollars for the two vials. And uh, I just had them shipped here. And then once I got those, they fit actually right in the notches. You see how there's notches there? So those vials are guaranteed to be a perfect fit and perfectly level. Um, so once I saw that they fit in like that by looking at the vial here after I took that one apart um, I realized that this thing was definitely uh, repairable so I'm, I'm really pleased and I, I like the way it looks I like the way I can see the bubble real nice and um, the thing is dead on accurate um, so I just I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the repair and it didn't really take me too long it only took me about maybe 40 minutes or so to do it and now I have a level that will last a, a lifetime so here's a look at the magnetic level it's on a steel door there and you can see uh, you know it's easier to read the bubble um, that's the only bubble that goes across horizontally so the other two are both vertical so uh, this is the one that you would read but like I said if you're framing up steel wall or door or something like that you know it's awesome to have a level that sticks right on there and uh, you know it's it's important to have a level that has a very good magnet that actually sticks because one time I was using uh, a level at work and the thing wouldn't stick so uh, that was kind of annoying Another level that I really like is this uh, this little guy here, and um, you know this one has like those rare earth magnets, and it's particularly strong. And you can see that's another one that's really easy to read. And I, I love using this thing for tiling. I'll show you how it works there. So here's a look at a tiled floor. You know you could imagine putting this thing on a tile and just tapping on the tile to set it in the mortar to get it nice and level so you know what I really like about this little level is just that it's so easy to read and 
you know that's kind of priceless and there's also an angle finder gauge which I have found to be quite handy I'll show you how that works so let's say you don't know what angle something is so for instance this banister it's, uh, we're on top of a railing here and on this little fat max level what you can do is you can turn this angle here and you can kind of zero out your your bubble so that it's exactly level and once you level that thing out it's really critical right there there we go and you can see by looking at the scale there that's exactly 40 degrees so that can find some angles for you so here's a final look at this thing as you can see I have it kinda up on the island here and as you can tell we'll zoom in here you can see that that vial is dead on and we'll go down to the next one and that one is dead on as well and finally we'll take a look for comparison we'll put on the little fat max extreme level and that is dead on there too so I'm real happy I took the time to fix this thing it didn't cost much money and you know I think it's uh, something that I'll use so I'm, I'm happy I have it and uh, the longer your your level is the more accurate it actually is so anyhow I'm double wide six and I'm actually gonna post a link to my favorite little level here the fat max and you can check that out at Amazon and as always you can uh, comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you